All right. Um, today I'm gonna do some little unboxing. I got a got a few knickknacks here. I uh, I went ahead and got some straps for some of the watches I have. Let's go over them real quick. I've gotten this, wow, uh, for the Touchmeister I have. Oh my, this is really, really soft. Um, so, this works as following. Put this off. Okay, as you guys can see, it's a, it's a butterfly um, clasp. Okay. It works as as like I said following. Um Yeah, it's really tight. So you measure measure it for your your wrist and uh you cut you cut it to your measurements. So this is gonna go on the Touchmeister. Really nice, I like it. Even comes with a little tool and spring bars. The second one is um, a benchmark, basics. This is like a, like a fabric type of thing or like a letter, letter fabric, uh, NATO. Love the color. Uh, this is for my um, for my Russian watch, the Vostok. Next, we have oh wow, this is packed. A uh, little booklet here on the ice trap, spring bars and tools. Always good to have a lot of those. Uh, this is also a butterfly clasp. And I bought this for my um, citizen. A citizen that I have. And I bought it for, for that. Oh, sorry. No, I bought this for my, um, for my psycho. Um, wow, this is really nice. Bought it for my Seika. Okay, last but not least, I have another one here. All kind of dirt everywhere. Okay, this is a really fancy box. Wow. This is a little toolbox here. Um, okay, I guess the people at uh, immigration thought they can just steal my spring bars, which they did. Oh my god, these people are assholes, bro. Anyways, let's see if they did steal them or if they're inside the pack. Nope, they're not in the pack anymore. Wow. There you go, guys. That's Aruba. They just steal. Anyways, no, try, no point in trying to get mad about that. Um, so. This is for a citizen I have, a caliber 2100, but it's 23, and I wanted to have this recessed. Um, this is really awesome. This looks good. Feels good. To, so this is 23. This will go on the, <laughs> sorry, on the watch, the, the citizen that I have. All right, good. I'm gonna throw these on the watches so you guys can see and I'll be right back. So that was a few minutes work. Uh, the first one is this. You guys can check it out. Try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can you know, appreciate it a little, just a tad bit more. Okay, so this is the... I always forget about this fucking watch is when I put the strap on it has like these cuts inside 
and it, it gives it this shit right here. It's okay, it's gonna wear and tear anyways. You, you're gonna see this gone within a week or I'll just put some oil there, get rid of it. But this is the Vostok Amphibia. This is the Diver Watch. And uh, it's a good one. I like it. It has a little patty look to it. Um, awesome. Uh, the second one I did was this one. This is the Touchmeister. This is a giant monster of a beast on steroids uh, diver watch. Helium escape valve right here. I did a review on this. You guys can check it out later if you want to. Uh, and I've done it with this butterfly clasp thing going on. Good. No problem here. So I think this I think this will be very, very cool. And the third one I did was sexually wearing it on my wrist right now. So you guys can check out. This is the SKX009 K2. And I think it just looks so much more, you know, rich on a nice uh, leather strap. Looks good, I like it. So, nice and shiny. Good quality. Uh, I'm gonna have to wear it a little bit more so I can get it can get you know nice and uh, formed to my hand. Well, that's it. And the other one I bought, which is uh, this one right here, uh, the watch is currently being serviced. So when it gets back, then I can put it on, and you guys can check it out. But that's it for these uh, little watch bands. Um, I think you know when you when you swap out bands, it just gives the watch so much more uh, character and flair. Uh, I'll be wearing these a lot more. So what do you guys think? Um, take care. Peace out.